Well, welcome back to my studio. We're going to add a little hummingbird to this painting. He's going to be hovering around looking at this sunflower and deciding if he wants to go in for a, something or not. And uh, for a little treat. And I didn't realize it, but hummingbirds, I did some research, and hummingbirds do like sunflowers. So this is just a perfect place for him to be is hovering over this this sunflower and he's going to be right here. I'm painting his head in with viridian green and then his body is a mixture of my white plus a little ultramarine blue and I'm painting over that red door so we're going to get some of that color coming through but that's that's okay right now. His little body's in here. He's hovering, so he's his tail feathers are actually going to be coming forward. And I just let them kind of feather into that wet paint behind them. I like painting the, the hummingbirds wet into wet because it does allow me to kind of soften the ends of their tail and wings. And that way we get the feeling of a little movement in there. For his wings, I'm using some of my floor color. This is my mud, which is ultramarine, two parts of ultramarine blue, plus one part of alizarin crimson. And then I've added some cadmium orange to it, and then a little white. Now the light is coming through this wing, so it's a little lighter here. comes down just a little bit. And again, with that door behind the sky wet, I can make these edges soft. Just gives that feeling of movement there. Now he's going to be a little bit darker, just right under this part of his wing. I have my reference material on my laptop, which is, I place it on the tabouret directly to the right of my palette. So as I paint, I can I can refer to that. And again, this needs to be a little bit lighter right here where the sun comes through that wing. Then this wing is coming up here. And it comes, comes down need to make that a little bit lighter. Again, this the sun is coming through his wings. I almost have that too big. So what I can do is clean my brush out. And with a clean brush, come back and pull some of this red paint. And that erases that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this shadow come down like so. So it's right behind that wing. That gives me a dark. So that wing's really going to show going to show up a little bit better. So I can just I've saved my paint. So I can just come in here and bring that lighter that darker color in behind this wing which is then lighter. I'm going to bring this kind of trial and error. But I want to bring this up so that feathers out. Got it a little bit too high so I can take some of that red in the background back behind here. Again, this needs to be a little bit smaller. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. 
and this is going to be a little bit darker than right in here, kind of in his armpit. Then the sun comes and catches this white right here on his neck. And then he's a ruby throat, so we're going to have just a little hint of that red. And what I'm going to do is on this, the light almost, that iridescence almost makes their throats a little bit pink. So I'm using some permanent rose and then I'm making him darker than on this shadow side. make his little beak. I'm just using a mixture of my mud plus liquid. This makes it real thin and I can make just a real nice fine line. I'm just going to brace my hand against this unpainted part of the canvas. I have to come back and clean that up a little bit. Sometimes your brush cooperates and the paint cooperates and other times you have to kind of work it a little bit. Today just this beak is still too big there. I'm just gonna have to redo his beak. Well there. There we go. I'll bring this behind him. Okay, now his head is going to have, he's going to have a little highlight, Viridian Green on his head, where the sun is hitting him. And now I'm going to highlight this, this white. And then bring my blue here my white plus ultramarine blue on his tummy. This is darker in here. Redo that highlight on his head. Sometimes these almost paint themselves and other times they just are a little bit harder to get, get to cooperate and just get to be exactly the way you want them. And it just takes patience. Now I want a little highlight on the top edge of his wing. That one. Now let's see if I can get this one here. And then we're going to have a little viridian green on his back because his back is green and that sunlight just is, is iridescent, makes him iridescent. There is our little hummingbird and the sunflowers. I'm going to do going to do one thing. I don't like that hard line coming down to the back of his head. So I'm going to just bring this shadow, and I'm going to have to rework a little bit on his head once I get this done. But bring my shadow of the red down behind him. This is one I saved my colors, so if I have to come back in, I can. So I'm going to make this just shadow come all the way behind him. Get 
So make that come down a little bit. Make this come down a little bit. And I'll also do my little lines. Let's get these the same angles as the other shadows. Just the shadow from the tiles come down. And then we'll have a little shadow come behind this wing. Now, let me show you how I make those lines in the door or in the gate. And this is just, again, a really fine, called a fine liner brush. Brace my hand on my mall stick. I can just bring those lines straight down. And now with that dark behind the hummingbird, we really see him a little bit better now. Painting is a matter of pushing and pulling. You just you get something down and then you have to go back in and, and rework. And it's a matter of going back and forth. Now I get this little light part on my door where the sunlight catches that edge of the board. And these lines are where the sun is catching the edge of the boards. Make this just a little bit darker right in here. Don't like that hard line behind. I want these lines soft. Okay, there's our little hummingbird. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process as I work on this painting and others that I do. So please visit my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. And thank you again, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.